everybody. It's caught in the act. They've left me alone unattended with the laptop. I think I'm doing this right. Is anyone there? Hello? I feel like Adele. It's me. Well, I'm just going to talk to you until I see uh, comments popping up. Oh, there's two people. Hello, both of you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, both of you, for coming. Uh, there's four of you now. I'm just going to talk um, because it's that thing when like a live video starts and then people who are doing the video live, obviously, um, wait for people to join. But then when people are watching later, it's weird because they're watching the person say that they'll wait for people to join. Does that make sense? Um, hi, Ciara. Um, oh, there's some questions coming over here. I'm multitasking. Um, I've been waiting for six minutes and I can't see the live. Well, here I am, Holly. Um, what are your plans before your UK tour starts in May? Well, I'm here for uh, the week. Oh, that was from Rowan Hooker. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold this. Um, uh, okay, yeah, one second. I mean, it's like, it looks like I'm in a black hole. Um, my plans are in the UK for the next, uh, before the tour in May. I'm actually only here till Friday and then I go back to Australia um, for a week and then I'll be back at the beginning of May um, to kind of sort of maybe make uh, London my new home. Um, so that's exciting. And um, I, uh, I, 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 I am looking forward to that and just sort of getting settled in and acquainted with the setup of London. Um, I'm planning on changing my phone to a UK number like today or tomorrow whenever I can get to a phone shop so that's exciting I feel like I'm going to send one of those um, annoying text messages to um, all my contacts and be like hi guys this is my new number plus four four seven dot 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 make sure you save it and then I'll get a lot of messages like new new wig who dis um, but um, swipe the screen up to unlock I'm going to read some more questions uh, if you do stay in the UK would you consider doing another tour with more venues Sheffield Leeds please um I love uh Leeds I have very fond memories of a club kids gig in Leeds it was a lot of fun I don't think I've been to Sheffield yet that's where Andrew's from so he could like take me on a night out with the lads which would be fun um what is your favorite thing about the UK probably the UK's um like understanding of gender and sexuality and drag like if you look at uk pop culture for decades there's been so much um queer so many queer themes um in your pop culture like all the way from like danny larue um like tv presenters like alan carr and graham norton uh, lily savage paula grady dame edna who i know is australian but um uh, Eddie Izzard, Julian Clary, Boyd George, Pete Burns. Um, oh, who's that? Oh, um, 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 oh, I watched his show on BBC. He's like an artist, Grayson Boyd. Grayson someone. Can't remember his name. I watched this great documentary um, of his on the BBC. Um, yeah, there's just like so much more like diversity when it comes to sexuality and gender in UK pop culture and you just see it like coming having lived in America for seven years ooh, and having um, lived in Australia all my life I really see the difference in the way people um, yeah interpret gender and sexuality some more questions uh, I'd love to see you on a night out in Sheffield I've met Andrew on a night out would make my day no my life to meet you well Sarah um, problems with night outs with Andrew are that they often result in not a whole lot of actual memories of what happened um, so that's always a concern but um, I do look forward to a night out in Sheffield I also need a night out on the Geordie Shore with Marnie who I did single AF with and I heard a story about um, about um, Charlotte Crosby well it involved a bowl and it involved defecation I'm not going to say it on celeb mix because it's just not polite but um yeah i'm i'm i don't i don't want to do that when i'm out on the geordie shore but it sounds like it's pretty loose so 
Hi to anybody watching in Newcastle. Um, what's, oh, oh dear, things have popped up on the screen. Hold on. Oh. Um, can you still hear me if I put the, push the mute button? I think you can. Um, what's changed in your life since Celebrity Big Brother in January? Um, it's just gotten, there's been a lot more traveling between um, London and, um, and Australia. Because I usually am in Australia during um, the summer months, and um, and uh, I uh, I'm doing like Mardi Gras. I've got to do that. Um, I'm doing Mardi Gras and stuff like that in Australia, and then I like one big brothers. So I had to go back to Australia, then I came back to London, then I got back to Australia, and then I went. And so there's been a lot of travelling back and forth between Australia and London. It's a really long flight, so that's kind of a bit. Um, annoying. Would you stay? Would you say UK or Australia are similar? Yeah, there's lots of differences. It's funny because like Australia is geographically in between, like this triangle between the UK and the US, and we get a lot of pop culture from both, um, both countries. And so we, but we definitely like we're a part of the Commonwealth, and we have um, so much UK pop culture and just that UK sense of humour, which is really different to the US. And so there are. A lot of similarities I think between um, UK and Australia. Next question is how excited are you to perform at Birmingham Pride? I'm very excited Jonathan. Um, I what are my memories of Birmingham? I remember the bull ring. Um, I remember putting chopsticks up my nostrils at a Wagamama's when we all were having like me and what else was there Michelle and we were all on tour on the box tour. Um, I remember that. Remember your train station near the bull ring. What else do I? I did a show at the Pizza Express there, which is like a live music venue upstairs. I wasn't like just wandering around the Pizza Express singing. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to Birmingham Pride. Who have cons who has consistently inspired you? Grace wants to know. Um, I'm like inspired by lots of strong, opinionated women I think whether it be like well not even not always like they like people in this sort of era like Janet Mock and um Monroe Bergdorf or Meryl Streep or um who else like just women who aren't afraid to speak their rational considered passionate minds and um and and own that um i think it's interesting like i've always loved women in pop culture whether it was like jerry halliwell in the spice girls or fran drescher in the nanny um or you know bet midler or Cher or madonna or gaga or kylie um in in music but yeah just i don't know there's something um that i've always loved about strong um powerful women who are you rooting for on season 10 that's a good question. I have been a little bit obsessed uh, since the first episode of Untucked with Asia, Monet, Monique, and the Vixen. I've been loving watching them. That first Untucked where she was like, girl, this is Untucked. Get your out and talk. Um, I just fell in love with um, Monique and, and Monet and Asia and the Vixen. I love like Vixen is there to fight and she certainly is doing that. Um, I'm just loving all their looks and I must say, Listening to the four of them talk is a refreshing change from the standard work. Yes, hunty, mama. Oh, brrr, I am serving. Um, so, yeah, that's nice. They're widening our drag mouth. Um, are you doing, are you going to one of Bianca Del Rio's shows? Um, I blink my eye when I look because Vanity once told me that, that um, when I'm, when I look down at the keyboard that my eye light wanders off. So I have a bit of a lazy eye. Hang on, let me do it. Let me do it now for you. I think one of my eyeballs is looking in like the opposite direction right now, but I can't tell because I can't see. Anyway, so like when I look, I um, one of my eyes wanders off, so I, that's why I'm winking. Um, favorite Spice Girls song of all time. Oh, I think probably either Lady is a Vamp or um, Who Do You Think You Are. Have you seen the Primark clothing inspired by your entrance outfit on Celebrity Big Brother so you can browse shorts and jacket? Um, I, somebody sent me a picture of it the other day. 
um, I would like to think that I have into in influenced uh, the high street fashions of the UK. I don't know if I have, but I'd like to think that I have. Um, Shelley Silver, this is my second question of the day from you. I did a pink news thing earlier and you were one of the questions on that. Uh, who's your favorite history icon? Oh, oh. Uh, oh, shit, just dropped my phone, sorry. Oh, it wasn't even my phone, that's even worse, sorry. Hang on, get my phone dropped on ground. Oh, it's all happening. Um, who's my favorite history icon? I'm gonna have to think about that. All sorts of iconic historic figures. This is the thing about doing like these sorts of press things. You get asked all of these questions and you're like, oh, like, what's your favorite color? That's easy. Well, actually, no, not even that's easy. It's purple and green. Um, but shall I, I'm gonna think about that one. Caitlin Baker, favorite song from Golden. Good question. Um, dancing and falling, fallen, falling. Ing. Um, it's like, Golden has been like a slow build like I listened to it and I liked it and then like it, I keep coming back to it, it keeps getting stuck in my head. I am of course talking about Kylie Minogue's new album, um, Golden, available on iTunes. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving it. And Kylie's birthday is coming soon. She's turning 50, which is kind of cool. Um, I, was in, I, was, I was interviewing her the other day on uh, the project in Australia and um, Somebody, I saw a comment, somebody saying, oh, wow, like way to call, call Kylie out for her 50th birthday. And I'm like, no, no, Golden is in reference to her 50th birthday, like Golden Jubilee, 50 years. Like she's owning it and celebrating it as far as I'm aware. So I think that's a good thing because Kylie is fabulous at any age. Courtney, have you no attention span? I'm laughing. Rowan, I don't know. You're the one watching, so I don't have an attention span. No, so I have an attention span. I just like being conversational. Um, no, I have no attention span, actually. That's the truth. I've taken my ginkgo biloba and my barcopa today in an attempt to have a bit more of an attention span. So just be grateful that I had attention span enough to remember to take notes. Uh, are you there any Australian acts that you'd think the UK should know about? Hmm. Music acts? like cabaret acts. Uh, oh yeah, I love Michael Griffiths. Um, um, he's a cabaret performer. Meow Meow, these are all cabaret acts. Meow Meow is amazing. Betty Grumble is epic, not for the faint hearted. Um, she's a great feminist performer who is very body positive. You're gonna see nudity, you're gonna see a lot of very eye-opening performance art in her show. Ruben Kay is amazing. Um, if you get a chance to see his shows, he's in London. Um, but yeah, and I love the Veronicas, but you know who they are. You do, they're not people that you should know about because you already know about them. Um, I absolutely think you should do a mashup of some of the songs from Golden because it would make mine and many others' lives. I'm always trying to like find new songs to do at like club shows and prides and things. And I was like jamming along to Golden and, um, the cool thing about being in the UK now is that people here have a, an understandable greater appreciation for Kylie. In the US, people are like, oh, yeah, Kylie, she's that older Australian lady that sings the La 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 song. And I'm like, how dare you? Um, and the other day I was in a meeting and Kylie had like a, her new music video for um, Falling come out. And like somebody put it on and everybody gathered around the laptop and like was tapping along and enjoying it. I was like, oh, it's so nice to be in a country where people have a, an appropriate respect and love of Kylie Minogue. Um, have you heard of Sherilyn Barnes? I have heard of Sherilyn Barnes. Um, she is a silly chookie.
I'm not even like, I'm just reading these questions. I'm not like reading them beforehand. So I'm glad that like, they're all lovely questions. Oh look, there's only 33 of us in here. We're having a very intimate experience. Um, I can't lip read and there's no sound. Oh no, can any, oh, no sound, you're on mute, mm, sugar. How long have I been on mute for? Can you hear me now? Sounds back, okay, good. I hope it hasn't been off that whole time that I pressed the mute button. Um, uh, what's your, I lost a finger nail, by the way. I lost in the lady's toilet earlier and some lady stepped on it and then I was like, oh, I dropped a finger nail. Oh, anyway. Um, okay, the sound is back. Um, would you like to ask other questions? Because at the moment it just says the sound's back, the sound's back, the sound's back. Yeah, the sound's back, yeah, the sound's back. Okay, here we go. I saw that you like Ada Vox, yes. And did you see a performance last night? I'm obsessed with Ada Vox. Ada Vox is a drag queen who's on American Idol and she is so talented. I'm not like just like, oh, there's a drag queen on American Idol. I love her. I love her because she's amazing. Um, and her rendition of Creep was chilling. Her feeling good was amazing. And um, yeah, I loved her so much. I kind of, her and I'm telling you, I feel like there are not many singers who could slay Jennifer Holiday. and I'm telling you, I'm not going. And I think that Ada is one of them. I just think that like, the idol format of like, I think they have like a minute to sing a song, kind of crammed too much of such a brilliant song into too little space of time. I would love to hear her sing, and I'm telling you, I'm not going again. And I would like her to just sing it from beginning to end. Okay, maybe she could, she could cut out the second verse if she had to, but like, it kind of just went like, and I am telling you part of the same club. Me. So yeah, I um I wanna hear her just slay and I'm telling you. And um I just think she's so amazing. I'm so glad she's in the top ten. If you're in America, um vote for her, please. Uh, look her up. Go to it's all on um YouTube. You can go to American Idol, Ada Vox, A D A Space V O X. Watch Creep and watch Feeling Good, because she's just breathtaking. Um, how long does it take for you to get ready? You look amazing. Thanks, Shanice, I think that says. Um, like two to three hours. Um, that's like including showering and shaving and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, two to three hours. Does your skin and hair suffer from all the wigs and makeup? Um, oh, you know what? I've been wearing these, these snatch back wigs lately and I think my hair does suffer because I've got underneath this wig, there's all these like two pay clips, right? That I then like pin my wig into. So they're basically these, and I can't seem to grab one right now with one hand, but um, all of these like French pins, which are kind of like, like that, go through my wig, oh, there's one, and into, do I feel that one? No, and into, through the wig and then through the two pay clip and they kind of like link in and like anchor it in and on hair like this you put lots in here and around here and I can just constantly like feel them pulling and snatching my hair back and I yeah you know, I'm a woman of certain age and I can't afford to be putting extra stress on my uh, my hair but um you know it looks cute so that's good um how much longer have we got three minutes you guys um, so get your final questions in. Uh, Rowan says, what song is your favorite song that you perform in Under the Covers? I really love my opening song, which is It's Oh So Quiet by Bjork. And I really love my closing song, which is I Will Always Love You. Now I do the Dolly version, not the Whitney version. I like do a bit of both. I do the Courtney version, but like I'm not gonna attempt to sing and I'm, um, I Will Always Love You, the Whitney version, because that would just be foolish. Unless you're Jesse J on that Chinese, um, um, like the voice show, it's called Singer. Have you seen it? Do you know, guys know that Jesse J was on, not as a judge, as a contestant on this um, competition reality show in China called Singer, where professional singers from around Asia and Jesse J um, 
competed against each other each week in like an X Factor style show. It was so epic. I just watched a bit of it last night and um, she won and she was amazing. She's such an amazing vocalist and I love her. Um, I digress. Will there be any more music from the AA girls? There will not, Jonathan, I'm sorry to say. Um, we're doing a gig in a couple of weeks in Columbus, Ohio, uh, Columbus, Ohio for Columbus Pride. I think that'll be like our um, Beatles rooftop moment. Oh, yeah, I'm going on tour. I haven't told you about that yet. Um, if you've just joined us, my name's Courtney Act, and I'm going to be going on tour around the UK and Ireland uh, this May, June, and August. You can go to CourtneyAct.com forward slash under to book your tickets. I start at Brighton Pride, Brighton Fringe. Britney's at Brighton Pride. I'm at Brighton Fringe in May. And then London, Glasgow, Cardiff, Birmingham, Manchester, Dublin, Belfast. Uh, did I say Manchester? I did. And then I finish at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival for the first couple of weeks of August. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really fun show. I've been doing it in Australia. I did a tour of Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth, Canberra, and Auckland. And now I am packing it all up and bringing it to the UK. So I, um, I have to go now, but um, nice to chat to you all. Thank you for all your questions. They're all so lovely questions. You're all so delightful. <gasps> so you like the Eurovision contest? Oh my God, of course. Uh, guys, just going to say this. Australia has been in Eurovision like three or four times and they haven't asked me to represent Australia in Eurovision. So my mum was born in Denmark, my dad was born in Germany and I'm moving to the UK. So all I'm saying is snatch me up quick to compete for your country in Eurovision Song Contest 2019. I am going begging. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Courtneyact.com forward slash under if you want to get tickets to my tour in the UK and Ireland and I will see you guys soon. Bye. I hate that awkward end thing where you push the button and you're going to push another button. <laughs>